guys welcome back today in today's video I'm gonna share with you how I decorate my kitchen table for the spring and also share with you a very small spring haul so if that's something you're interested in then keep on watching okay with spring coming I'm just about here I can't say that I am happy that it's here but you know you got to go through all four seasons but anyway, um, and excuse my attire, of course I just finished working out, so I did not want to glam myself up. I just said, let me just keep on this cute little um, workout attire. So it's going to have to do for now. But anyway, let me share with you guys this very small haul, and I mean very small haul. Um, the first thing I got, I got this from 99 cent store. I picked up this cute little mug and I think it's really cute because it's spring and of course it has the L for me, Liz. So when I saw it, I was like, okay, I've got to pick it up. I'm not too fond of the color, although it's a color for spring, but I would have preferred like maybe yellow, pink or something like that or maybe lavender. They do have some with different letters on it, so you guys go buy a 99 cent store and pick you up one. And inside of a lot of them, they have different colors, so I couldn't choose because my L had this color. So that's the first thing that I picked up, and I think it's really cute, and I have been drinking out of it already. I just forgot to share it with you guys, you know, after I bought it. Then the next thing I picked up are these cute, and I mean these are adorable signs uh, from the 99 cent store. It says, hello, and I love it because it's yellow and it's nice and bright for the summer, as well as, uh, I've got another one, and this one says, spring. So I will be using these two items on my tablescape when I uh, decorate it, so you guys We'll see the finished look, but aren't these cute? And you can even put them together if you want, like this. Hello Spring, I hope that's not backwards. <laughs> At least on my end it's not, but it says Hello Spring. I think that's really cute. Or you could stack it, you know, on top of each other. And these, they will stay by the way, because I tried it. But anyway, aren't these things really cute? I love them. They are so adorable. And the last few things that I picked up, I went to, um, this came from Bath, Bath and Body Works. My daughter, Angela, surprised me with a e-card to um, go in there and shop. So I was able to get myself three things. Now, I really wanted those nice lotions that they have. But she knows I love Bath and Body Works. And I really wanted the lotions, but I kept tossing between lotions and candles. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have enough to get both. Because, you know, they're expensive. But anyway, Bath and Body Works up until Sunday, I believe. Don't quote me. I believe Sunday, this past Sunday, they had it 50% uh, off on all of their... Uh, I'm not sure of all of the things they had in there, but at least the candles were. So I picked up a few candles. The first candle I got, and this is called the Fresh Orange. And I love the color of this. And it smells amazing. All of them smell amazing. I swapped out the top because I didn't like the top that it had on there. So I was like, go ahead and switch it and it's a three wick candle isn't that pretty oh, smells like orange now I must say that I have allergies so I had to really be careful of smelling too many candles in this store and I did smell a few extra ones that I probably should not have because I started not to feel well and when I got outside I had to stay outside for a few minutes longer and just walk and breathe you know, I needed to get that fresh air into my oxygen because I had consumed too much of these things. I tell you, ugh. It's so disheartening when you have allergies and you can't really um, be around too many uh, fumes, you know, even fragrances. You know, even when I burn this candle, these candles, I can only burn candles for so long and then I have to blow them out or when we spray our... Um, 
a spray around the house. I can't have too much of it and sometimes I have to take a mask and put it on. So it's one of those things, but I'm going to enjoy the scents of these for as long as I can. The next one I picked up, now I like this one too. All these are for spring that I got. This one's called White Gardenia and it's nice too. I love the color, really pretty. And it has the same top. And mm, if you know what white gardenia flowers smell like, then this is what it smells like. But all of them are three wick. It smells so light and so fresh and just, you know, perfect for the spring. So I picked up that one. And last but not least, I picked up one that's called pineapple mango. Uh, this smells really good too. All of them do. Now, I was standing in line and I saw this ugly top that says, um, it says white barn and I meant to change it out with this one, you know, the same one I had for the other two, but I forgot, so I said, well, that's okay. Yeah, this is pineapple and mango and it smells good too. I just love, you can't really pick up the color on camera as well as you can in person, but this, this is like a deeper... It's like mango color, but it's a deep, darker uh, color. On camera, it's probably coming out really light, so. But it just smells so good, but I better be careful with sniffing these things. <laughs> it's just so sad. But anyway, that's all that I picked up. I wanted to share these things with you. So if you guys are ready to see me decorate my kitchen table for the spring, then let's go. As you can see, the theme of my tablescape is yellow and green, and I have two pillows, my white pillows, in the chairs of the heads, and this is a lemon theme also, because I love yellow. It's not my favorite color, but I like yellow, and there's the other pillow on the other chair. In the center, I have a gold table runner, and I have some beautiful flowers, yellow, white, and a little bit of light green. I've got my two candlestick holders with my white candles. And also, I have two lanterns that are on either side um, of the candles. You'll see that in just a moment. There's the first one there, and they're, they're, they're matching, so the other one is on the other side. I just love yellow. It's so nice and fresh and vibrant for the spring. There are my wine glasses, and they're sitting on top of a gold um, coaster. Those are my plates. I have the lemon plates. I have the white plates that I have. I have my gold flatware and that bowl there I have a lemon in there and I just took my regular white napkins that you see and those paper uh, napkins and folded it together and placed a holder on it. There's the second lantern over there and the tea light is in both of them. Some of the plates you see like at the heads have uh, white, most of them are white and a couple of them on the other side uh, are green. I'm showing you how soft and fluffy that pillow is. I love those pillows. That one at the head of the napkin, I have a yellow napkin that's mixed in with the, the white napkin. And the four chairs that you see there, you can't see the chairs, but the napkins at the four chairs are green and the two at the head has the uh, yellow napkin folded in with the white napkin. I 
I think it turned out really nice, really pretty, perfect for the spring. And that's it everybody. That's how I styled up my kitchen table for the spring. I hope that you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Have an awesome day. Bye.